Hello everyone, this is Plasmers, and welcome back to some more Metroid Dread, Dread Mode. Last time we blasted our way through Ferenia with the Storm Missiles. Uh, actually we just got the Storm Missiles. Uh, this time we're gonna defeat the 6th enemy once and for all. And this is the final time you're in the enemy zone. It looks like he just shot an electrical ball that I couldn't... Wow, did you see that? It, he literally sniped me. I'm almost done with our... We're almost done with our let's play now. Now this is like I'm basic. This is basically a home stretch. I want to open that door, but I I also don't really need to. Yeah, there's one. This is on the large section, but this means nothing to me. As a blast for these, uh, I forgot what they're called. I don't I don't remember what they're called. They might also be called unknowns. So this is this final. This is the final central unit boss. What you do here is that you would shine speed like I showed you before, shoot up, and then screw attack right there. Instantly defeated with the combination of screw attack and uh, shine spark. Because screw attack instantly takes out the second phase. Now this is a room where you, basically you would have to charge your Omega Cannon again just to shoot at that uh, that 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 dot just to make the water level flow down. So you can do this. Now we're in a bit of a, this is a bit of a chase sequence. You basically have to destroy these boxes as fast as you can. Yeah, there he comes. You see the purple enemy right there. You need a diffusion me to break through this. Cross bomb. And then, uh, phase shift. There you go. Now you just wait for the purple enemies to crawl up on top of this thing. But for some reason, they take their sweet time whenever they're chasing you after you get the Omega Cannon. There you go. I remember the first time I played Metroid Dread, I had such a hard time with the purple enemy. It was just, it was just impossible. Well, also because I didn't have the gravity suit, because I didn't do any secret breaks. I didn't even know about them yet. But here we have a wave beam, which lets you, which lets you shoot through the walls. Pretty overpowered if you ask me. Issue we told you this way, you go back up to where you came from. So, here's a rocket pod. Wave beam can destroy the wave beam door. You can break through this, you can shoot this guy through here. Sure, I'll save, why not? I like how my arm can is like purple now, indicating it. Okay, right here. Uh, usually you would go up the elevator to Hanubia, but I'm not. I'm gonna actually. I'm actually gonna go back the way I came from through Gavran, because in Hanu in Hanubia, which is where I'm supposed to go, uh, it's like blocked off because I didn't get there earlier. Usually the game expects you to get to Hanubia through Golzuma, but because I ain't, uh, I have screw attack by the time I defeat Golzuma because I fought him earlier. Uh, that's why that that's delayed. And through Hanubia, through entering H Hanubia through a uh, gathering, you unlock a certain like a grapple beam block. So that, that way you can't instantly go to Hanubia the normal way from Frenia. But uh, I opted to just do that. That was pointless. 
I, I know that there's like some secret uh secret missile tanks that I could have gotten for any easily, but I forgot about them. Uh, you you'll find them online. Trust me. I don't really I don't think I need them. I mean I don't know how many missiles I have now, but I think I should have enough. For convenience sake. Finally on the surface, look at the rain. We're almost there. There's some of those chosen warriors again. Metroid reference, nice reference to Super Metroid. Pretty cool. Okay, fine. I'll give you that. Can't catch a break, huh? There he was, the red, it's the red one, that's like, has a shield. Here's a goblin block I was talking about, and here's a missile block. Oh yeah, I can actually just... Don't snipe me, good. I have to go through the normal one. Uh, dude, with this guy, you have to put a cross bomb to fight against him. Alright. Screw attack? There you go. There you go. Now I can actually, now I can get, now I can get to Hanubia through Ferenia now. Not that it matters, but it's there. See, now I can't go back the way I came from because of the screw attack block. They make this place complex. There's a wave beam door that you can just pass right through. Look at that, another enemy zone, one after another, huh? Yeah, hey, look at that, it's another wave door beam. Wave beam door, it's like, it's like a, it has its fair share of like wave beam doors near the end. Okay, that was cool that the Emmy died, but I don't understand. Like, I sucked the energy out of the Emmy, but why did the central unit, why did the central unit, like, die too? Like, isn't that like it's center? Isn't that like a separate entity? I don't, I, don't, I never understood that. I should be using storm missiles, but I'm just see. I can I can counterattack while I uh, hold my storm missile. Hold my storm missile charge that.
good night. Now I have power bombs. Now that now I can go through now I can go through the whole game again and like unlock all the power bomb uh, unlockables, power bomb extensions. I actually got a few of them beforehand. That's why I have five now instead of a three. But it doesn't matter anyway. I'm gonna go on this thing to recharge power bombs because power bombs themselves are hard to get back. So it's in my best interest if I do that. I understand there's like a corridor here, but I can't pass through it, so I don't understand. I don't understand that at all. I don't know. Yeah, here's where you fight the central unit. It's like a closed off area. It's a bit of a mystery to me, but whatever. You don't need to use a power bomb for here, but I just thought, why not? Okay, there's. Okay, right here is also power bombs, but I don't, don't do that yet because uh, right here. There's a speed boost of puzzle. Oh wait, I just I didn't mean to do that. Hang on, man. Oh. Okay, here. We, okay, here I am again. So, speed boost, and then you shoot straight down, and there you go. Another power bomb extension. Uh, I don't remember how many you can get at max. I forgot how many power bombs you can get at maximum level, but I'll put it on the screen right now, just uh, just to show you. Get some electrical pedalas, which is whatever. Okay, right here is another missile tank uh, expansion. It's like it's like it's like the last ones you're ever gonna see now. Here's the golden uh, chosen warrior, or should we call it an elite chosen warrior? Here we go. Now this shield is impenetrable, I believe. I think this shield is impenetrable this time. And you have to wait till he attacks you to actually shoot this guy. Yeah, this one's uh, this one's not so. I actually got through the second phase. Uh, usually, when you when you kind of get the shield attack, you have to shoot. You have to grapple beam it in order to break it. You can't just normally uh, shoot at it in order to uh, uh, break it. You have to do a complicated sequence in order to break the shield along with it. Wait, what? I a I hit X. Okay. Here it is. Okay, so you have the gravel beam, and then you break it. Yeah, there's the there's the gravel beam you use on it. Now to take it out normally. I don't know how I missed it before, but okay. Oh, that was early. I didn't expect him to do that so early. That's weird. There you go. And there you go. That was the final Chosen Warrior. The fight against. 
Here we have a pod that shoots us into uh, Raven Beak's lair up in Interash. I don't know where the name Interash comes from. Is it the name of the sky or is it the name of the ship that Raven Beak is in? Probably the name of the ship that he's in, which is where we go to now. That's about it. That's about it for uh, this episode of Metroid Dread Dread Mode. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like. Leave a comment so I can know what you think of this Let's Play. And uh, if you like my other content, feel free to subscribe. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Until next time, we fight, we finish things off.